hey you guys welcome back to my channel so currently what i am about to do is a relaxer on my beautiful client she is a new client of mine she said her last relaxer was in february so we do have quite new growth which i love it love it love it i always tell my clients when they come and get a relaxer uh do it every three months do not do it anytime sooner than that and you could stretch it longer than that if you choose to because some people do it twice a year but i say do not come anytime sooner than three months because you definitely want a line a demarcation when it comes to applying a relaxer it's important to be able to see the new growth and a month in between is not enough new growth especially if you're going for growing your hair out if you're wearing your hair very short like in a pixie cut or something of that sort or you wear it uh, like a knee alone haircut back in the 90s very short like that then of course come in every month or even a little sooner than that to keep your relaxer looking fresh is fine but you always want to pay attention to the integrity of the hair you always want to pay attention to how the uh, actual chemicals is reacting to the hair so right now what I'm doing is basing my client with petroleum jelly which is actually vaseline so i do that all on her scalp and then of course around the perimeter of her head so that's what you see me guys doing right here so i have a lot of educational videos on relaxers and giving you guys my spiel on how i do a relaxer to make sure uh it's always protecting my client hair and making sure their hair always look beautiful and they don't have to worry about breakage in between the time and everything of that sort so of course i always use the olaplex bonding series whenever i am applying a relaxer i do use that line i use the uh, conditioner um, i also use the actual olaplex oil to put inside the relaxer to help with the chemicals so it can build the bonds back because when you are dealing with a chemical service that change the texture of the hair or the color of the hair it must go into the hair and break down the bonds so with the olaplex it's just a band-aid a safety net for your binds to make sure they are 100 percent healthy from the service so I just wanted to give you guys this bill. I will look, link up here another video of me uh, doing a relaxer and more of an educational video with relaxer. This one will be up speed, so I won't be doing much talking. Maybe I'll come in every now and then to leave tips or gems, but overall, this video is more of seeing other than learning. So I will put another video up here for you guys, but. Thank you for watching this video and enjoy. So I want to come in here and leave you guys with this information. I did divide her hair just straight uh, down the middle. When you have someone with medium or fine hair, you can do that because you'll have more control over the hair and you could quickly get through the hair. But if you're dealing with somebody with more of a coarser or thicker texture, then you want to divide them in four quads because you will also have more control over your canvas and over the... Uh, perimeter of the hair and you're able to apply the relaxer evenly and distribute it uh, correctly through the service.
Okay, so when you get to the portion of applying the relaxer, you have to have a rat, rat tail comb to distribute and put pressure on the relaxer area. I always use a wooden comb. I use wooden combs regardless if the hair is straight and or your hair is natural. Wooden combs are perfect for our hair, you guys, because it doesn't tear our hair it doesn't break our hair it also is easy to get through our hair it's easy to use for detangle and so much and so forth always have you a wooden comb invest in a wooden comb you guys it will last for a very long time and also it's the best for black hair So hey you guys i'm back so i wanted to slow the video down right here because i wanted to highlight some points i wanted you guys to look at my client here this is just right after blow drying her hair out as you can see her natural shine as you can see the health of her hair the integrity of the of her hair is still there and everything is still intact so what i wanted to highlight whenever you're doing a chemical service on someone's head it's important to think it through before you actually execute it so you know what you're doing you know the steps before you come to that point also it's important to have the proper tools and the proper products 
when you are applying a relaxer or any other chemical service and i highly highly suggest you guys to always go to a professional when it comes to relaxers i feel like it's so watered down because people can go buy it at their nearest drugstore or at their nearest hair store and all that but i do not suggest that i highly suggest you go to a professional that understands hair that pays attention to the integrity of the hair because there's nothing wrong with relaxers because i do believe they get a bad rap and it's absolutely nothing wrong with relaxers the problem is it's not being applied correctly not knowing how to treat the hair after you apply a chemical service and also with it being applied too often has always been the issue but I, overall relaxers are a hundred percent okay for the hair in my professional opinion especially if it's done right so i just wanted to take out this time to just highlight that part and you guys continue to enjoy the video thank you guys so much for watching this video this was a relaxing video my client did say that her service was relaxing from beginning to end so thank you guys so so much please hit that like button leave comments down below if you are a relaxed lady leave comments down below and let them know do you like relaxers do you not what are some great tips you have on keeping your hair healthy through your relaxed journey and i talk to you guys next time and once again thank you so much for watching my videos i really 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 do love you guys so so thank you bye bye